Hi and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design this very um, simple and nice design. So you can represent a team, for example, uh, using this uh, web design. So I'm going to use HTML and CSS to have these images and then have this overlay and the text on the overlay right here, simply by using HTML and CSS. So that's actually what we're going to be doing. So make sure that you are using font awesome because I'm going to be using some icons in the design. As you can see here, we have our social media icons here. Uh, so I'm using font awesome icons for that. So without delay, let's start with the HTML part of our design. So as usual, we will start by writing the, a div tag and I'm going to give a class of my team because this is going to be representing a team and uh, I'm going to say div class again and I'm simply going to call this profile pic okay so to represent the profile picture and then I'm going to write an image tag here and I will say source and then type in the path to my image so I'm simply going to say images image one then close the image tag so right after the image tag I need to write another div tag and I will say class detail text okay so this is going to be uh, for the details for example the job title and the name of uh, my team member so for example here I'm simply going to write Patricia Mills as the name of the team member and then I will say tag P here and write the job title of the team member all right so after that i'm going to write another p tag and in here i will now write um the a tag yeah and then i'm going to attach uh to add my font awesome class so I'll say fa if a facebook then i will close this tag here so what i'm going to do is i will copy this then paste it down here so i can have at least four social media icons so the first one will be facebook the second one will be twitter then you say the fourth uh, the third one will be youtube and then the fourth one is going to be Instagram. So after doing that, I'm going to save. So I'm going to repeat this profile pic class. So I'm going to copy and paste. So as you could see in my design, I had three team members. So I simply going to paste two times. And here I'm going to simply change the image. So I'll say image six. And then down here, I am going to say image eight. So these are all the images I have in my um in my design uh, project directory here okay as you can see image one image six image eight so these three images uh, are the ones that i'm gonna take and attach in this my project so i also need to change the name for the second team member so i'm going to say not peters for example and uh, i will give a job title so it manager and the third team member as well i need to change the name i can simply say uh, claire mcgill and uh, the job title will be marketing executive so you can put whatever name okay or whatever job title you want so these are the job titles that i have chosen to put here so now this is all you need to put for the HTML part of the code. Let's now start with the CSS code. So I'm going to start as usual with the generic um, properties. So I'm simply going to say box size in will be border box. And then the font family, I will say poppins. And here the body, HTML, I will say display flex align items be center and justify content 
will be center as well. So this is to make sure that the items and the text of this my design are going to be centered throughout the web page. So background. So this is going to be the background color. So I'll say RGB 24, 21, 21. So I'm going to change, let me say 10, 99. All right, so the next thing to style will be the my team class. I'll also say display flex, then width 100%. Then finally, justify content. I'll say space around. And uh, let me open this in the browser. Yeah, so as you can see, I have the text here, which is representing the name, the job title, and then the social media icons and then the pictures as well so we are good to go so i need to style the other classes so the next one was profile pick i will say width 360 pixels height 400 pixels and then padding 25 pixels background color white then the position let's say relative display so the position will be relative so display flex as well and then align items let's say flex and let me refresh all right so i'm going to say transition 0.6 second is out. Then next, I'll say profile pick hover, then transform. That will be translate. If I come and refresh, okay. Hover before, say opacity one. Then I'll say profile pick hover detail text. So this is a class I need to put that. Then opacity one and then transform. I would say translate zero. So I need to style the image. So I will say profile pick, then an image tag. So I would say width. 100%, then the height, 100%. Position will be absolute, then top will be zero, left will be zero as well, and then object feet, I'll say cover, and save. So now if I refresh better, as you can see, the text is coming on top of the image, and the image have been resized as well. So I need to add a little bit of overlay on the image so one way to do that is to write profile pic and then content position absolute top zero left zero as well say display block width 100 percent then height 100 percent so the next thing will be to put a transparent background so i'll say linear gradient to top so this is the direction of um the gradiency of the background color so rgb now is the color that i want so this is going to be red color comma and then i need to specify that it's going to be transparent okay let me come and refresh i didn't save that so if i refresh here so say is it index two and then opacity zero all right let me add some transition 0 0.5 seconds then save so after that i need to style the text details so we profile pick that detail text so its position must be relative and then I need to add the Z index three to make sure that the text will come on top of the overlay background. Yeah, because if I remove that, you will see, you can see that the text is behind the overlay background. And I need to put the Z index. Okay. And uh, the color of the text must be white and the opacity must be zero. So I'm going to add some CSS effect and animation on the text as well. So I'll say 60 pixels. 
So I'll add a little bit of transition as well. 0 0.5 seconds. Then come here, as you can see now. Yeah, so the next thing I'm gonna do is to style each of uh, these text details individually and the icons as well to make my design be much more nicer. So I will say detail text, H1, so margin zero, font size 40 pixels. So that's for the name. Uh, so now I need to style the um, paragraph. So I will say detail text, then P like this. So I'll add some letters, spacing. So I will say two pixels. And then the font size, the 15 pixels. And margin top, eight pixels. Save and refresh. So now when I refresh, this is how it is looking like. Much more nicer. I will also style for the upper link. So, so this is going to be for the icons, the social media icon. So I'll say 30 pixels for the width. The height as well will be 30 pixels. I'll say display inline block. And then the border, one pixel solid, white, border radius, 50%, text decoration, none. All right. So I need to make the social media icons white. So one way to do that is to add another property here. So I will say AI, then color white, then padding, six pixels, eight pixels, then save. Okay, so now my design is complete. So guys, this is how you can design you know, um, my team overlay effect. Okay, you have your team members pictures here. And then when you put your cursor on the image, you can read the name, the title, and then a social media icon links on the various image. So I hope this video was informative. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. So let's meet in the next video.